All right, so I've got a Java file up here, Conway's life. Some basic stuff I need to start with. I need to create a constructor for Conway's life. <clears throat> Public Conway's life. And I'm going to do some stuff in here. In public static void main, I'm going to create a new one of these things. Two basic lines, which I'm always starting my programs with. It turns out that there's some things you can't do in a static method, and that's why I'm jumping out of this right away. So first thing I want to do, I'm going to create a J frame named frame. It's going to be a new J frame. Conway's life. It's like, hey, what's a J frame? I'm like, you should import that. And it feels much better. In fact, I know that there's going to be a few things I'm going to need, J buttons and J panels. So I'm just going to import everything from Swing, javax.swing.star. First thing I should do when I'm creating a swing project is I should, so I'm going to create the frame. I'm going to set the size of it. So I want to set the size x and y. I want this to be relatively big. Let's see what 600 by 600 looks like. There's that set default close operation which I largely don't remember. I usually just let the auto fill in, fill it in for me. And frame.set visible to true. I run it. It's like, hey, look, a giant blank window. How exciting. All right, so that allows me to do the basics of setup. Now I've got to figure out the other parts of it. I believe this is the first project we've had where we're actually going to have a second Java file that we're going to use. So in order to draw things, I need something that is able to draw. Um, there's a couple things I could use. I could use a canvas, or I could use a J panel. Um, there's a few other classes I could use. I'm going to use something called a J panel. So a JPanel is basically a blank um, Java Swing uh, component that I can change things around in. Now, I don't want to use the default JPanel, or else I will draw a gray background, which is not as exciting as you might think. I would prefer to be able to draw things of my own making. So how do I create another Java class? Well. Probably the easiest thing is just to right click on the default package and do a new class. I'm going to name this my panel. Super class. Let's actually change that. This is going to be javax.swing.jpanel. Another way that you can tell is you could just create a new Plank class and then say extends jpanel. Govx.swing.jpanel. What this does, so Java is an object-oriented language, and one of the powers of it is called inheritance. So if I have a piece of code that I've written. For example, let's say that I've written JPanel. It allows me to draw things. It allows me to put it inside of JFrames. All that code's taken care of. What if I want to take all of that code and not have to rewrite it, but just change like one thing in it? For example, I'm going to change how it's painted. What I can do is I can extend a superclass, in this case JPanel, and I automatically get all of JPanel's code for free. Everything I can do with a JPanel, I can now do with my class called MyPanel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the particulars of this class to the ones that I want. In particular, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change 
public void paint components. And you must spell this exactly right, by the way, or it's going to freak out. Capital C on component. And inside of the graphics, it's complaining because I need to import a graphics object. The graphics object is kind of like the thing that you draw with. If you can kind of think of it like your paint bucket or your drawing brush or whatever it is. The graphics object G that I'm using here is what allows me to draw various things. So one thing that JPanel does do is it clears the screen every time that it gets repainted. We actually do want that. So I'm actually going to call JPanel's paint component. And the way I do that is I say super, and I pass in the same graphics object. Oh, did I say super? Ha. Huh. This dot paint component. Did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. That's an infinite loop. I was right the first time. Super dot paint component. If I called this dot paint component, I'd call myself over and over again, and the world would end. So super calls jpanel's paint method. And so what that does is jpanel goes, oh, I'm going to clear the screen. And it does that. And then I'm going to write any specialty code I have here. For now, I just want to be able to see if I can draw anything on the screen. That would be cool. So for now, I'm just going to do g dot. Draw a line. Draw a line has an x, a y, and another x and a y. So I'm going to draw from, I don't know, 10, 20 to 300, 450. Why not? So it's going to draw from the point 1020, the x and y position. And it's going to draw a line to the point 300, 450. So we haven't actually put a my panel into the project yet, so we should do that before we're going to see the line. So I need to make sure that, first of all, I need to make a layout for my frame and then put one of these my panels into my frame. So I'm going to go back to Conway's life real quick. I'm back in the frame code. I should create one of these my panels. So I'm going to create a my panel panel. What a great name. There's a new my panel. So that creates the panel itself, but it still hasn't been added into the window. So I'm still not going to see it. It'll be in memory, but that's not as useful to my eyes as having it actually show up. So I should add it to the frame somehow. I think I'm going to do a border layout for now in the frame. So frame.set layout, new border layout. It's like, border layout? What's that? I'm like, hey, go look in Java AWT. You'll find it. And it's like, oh yeah, I found it. So now I've imported javax.swing.star, java.awt.borderlayout. <coughs> I happen to know I'm going to need some more things from AWT, so I'm just going to import everything from that as well. Or you can just import them as you go along, whichever way you feel. All right. I should add the panel into the center of this border layout. Frame.add panel. And it's like, uh, where do you want to put that? Border layout dot center. Ooh. It's a line. Isn't that amazing? Anyway. <laughs> 